Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, oopsie, <laughs> and I thought we could play with some Tim Holtz scraps today. So I just have all these random bits and pieces and ends of his, um, his paper pads, you know, things like that. So I thought it'd be fun to do something with them. And so I've just taken one of these three by three squares that he has at the end of his paper pads, and I thought we could just, you know, make a little pocket out of this one. You know, just simple stuff like that, just to kind of turn this into um, ephemera so that we can use it as ephemera. So that's what we're going to do is just play with Tim Holtz papers and see what we can come up with. And I'm not always real great at this kind of stuff, but we'll see as far as on the fly. Not I'm a planner, so like I generally like to have some idea of what I'm doing, but I really don't today, so. But I thought these would be fun to just make ephemera out of. So I'll just put some glue on here. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're not doing a whole lot. I'm filming second video today. So I hope you're having fun getting ready for Christmas. However, that may be a lot of you may have already like shipped out all your stuff because I know most people don't get to see their family this year. So I don't know how y'all are doing that, but um, yeah, it's such a bummer. You should always be able to see your family, I think. I think that's important for our sanity and well-being. Okay, so I think I'm going to just kind of turn these into tags. Um... I think I definitely want this side with that guy. So I think I'm going to go like maybe one and three quarters for my tag. And then I'm just going to... And then we'll put something on the back so that we can write on it. And you can add whatever to the front of these. We're just doing simple things. We're not doing elaborate things this week. And then that I can use somewhere on something for decoration or whatever. And let's turn this one into a tag as well. Need that out right now. I love those roses on that one. So two, or what was it? One and three quarters, right? Yeah. Two and three quarters would be a little bit big. Get a hold of them. Yeah, we're all just kind of scurrying around trying to do last minute stuff because the kids just finished with uh, school. So, yeah. It's kind of the way it is at the moment. So I think I'll back those so they can just pop in here and if you put a little fabric tab at the top that'll help you know because they could go a little bit further down and maybe or even a uh, paper tab would work I'm gonna put this pink on this is already not too bad to write on but I think I want just another little something on there what did I do with my tear roller here just all scatterbrained people let me tell you it's bad do not do well with the holiday thing. <laughs> like I said, I am a planner, but I struggle with planning first. Like, I'm not a party person. I'm not into entertaining at all, which I'm sure you've probably gathered. I'm not very social. <laughs> By nature. 
I mean, I like talking to you all, you know, talking about stuff we make and all that. That's awesome. I just am not great at, like, throwing shindigs. Maybe I'll use that side because it's got a little bit more of just regular lines. Be a little harder to write on. I love that print, but be sort of tricky. So you could also back this with some paper to write on, but I think I would probably glue it down. But you wouldn't have to. You could easily stick that in a pocket. It's not very thick. So yeah, that's just kind of a fun, quick one to do, which is always good. Oh, let's ink these. Oops. You know what I might do because they're little. I may just attach a little something with a, the tiny attacher. Let's just take those I might use for something. I had some bits of fabric. Hold on just a second. I just gotta grab something right over here. My room's a little bit bigger than it used to be, so now I have to go a little further to grab things, but alright. Um oh, that's like snowflakes. <laughs> you can see I've got all my that kind of stuff out. So it's it's kind of wrinkly. Use what you have at hand, right? Get it in. I got this in Happy Mail, I think from Robin. That bag of fabric she sent was very kind and has been very much used, so thank you for that. It's a little bit big. That's a tiny little tag. <laughs> it's always hard to tell until you get it on there and then you're like, mm-hmm. It's not gonna work. It seemed tiny, the piece of fabric. I don't need the glue. I was gonna glue it on, but I don't need to do that. I just need to get it in half, sort of. So are you all going to do at least have a special meal or something for Christmas, even if you're not really celebrating as far as getting together with everybody? Okay, there's that. We're having, we're just doing ham and cheesy mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes, sweet potato casserole, and um, a spinach salad, cranberries. I 
it's still a lot of food for six people, but Oh, did I do this one longer? Oh no, it's not longer. Sorry, this is taking an eternity. Like some of these little fiddly things just take me an eon. Okay, so there's that one little piece of ephemera. Did I glue that together or something? So that's sort of fun, I think. Good little thing to do with those end scraps or those end pieces of paper in the Tim Holtz. Let's do, this isn't, oh, it's kind of a scrap. It's got a, all right. So like, I would like that to be the front, but then I would have to take this one over here because this one would be the front. Oh, let's do that one. That one works just fine. Okay. That top needs a little help. wonky from whatever I did before to it. Okay, and then this I thought would be kind of fun to put have these end cuts, but they're not big enough. So let's just use some other stuff that we have. This would be a good one to put just scraps of, you know, coffee dyed paper, whatever. So let's see what we got here. I have got to get rid of some of this stuff. It's just taking over my world, basically. And this clearly is not a new idea. But it's fun to add to a journal because it's you know, a place to write. Or you can use the little pieces for whatever. So there's one. This would be kind of fun just to, because it's so, the color is just great. And I'm going to keep the page number, because you can definitely write on that, right? And that is fun to write on. Let's see what else we got. I've got bags of stuff down by my feet, so sorry. I hear the crunching and munching around there. And avocado bag paper. Okay. And you could also add, if you were doing a journal, you know, obviously other printed paper or whatever. It doesn't have to be just this kind of stuff. But a lot of you might have just started and just have, say, some scrapbook paper and whatever. So just use whatever you've got. Don't feel like you need to have all these different ones. Yeah, 
this would work. I've got just a piece of this. I just need the length to figure out. I like the number on that. I just want to see the number if possible. And let's do like one or two more. I watched my favorite Christmas movie yesterday, White Christmas. I love that movie. Well, I mean, like, for funny funny movies, I love um, Christmas Vacation, of course, because who doesn't love that? But um, just for other types of Christmas movies, I love um, White Christmas. So that is my, that's the one I have to watch every year. Well, that, I watch both of those. And then if I get other ones in, I'm happy, but if not, then I'm fine. <laughs> I do like a lot of other ones too, but those are just my, my most favorite. Oh, we watched the Santa Claus too. Also, I should say the first one. We just like the first one. The best. I didn't watch Home Alone this year. I usually watch that. I think I'm gonna switch sides because I want to see this number and I want to see those numbers. So I'm gonna do something like this. And that should be good for our little paper pad here. I'm just gonna tiny attach them. I didn't space that very well, but it's fine. I'm put some ink on there. Could put some kind of decoration on there, would be nice, because this one doesn't have a whole lot going on. But yeah, literally, you can keep it that simple, and it's great. What else could we put on there? It's been so long since I've used anything but Christmas stuff, I almost don't know what to do with myself. It's sort of nice. Mm -hmm. I, if I want to use people. This part's cute. I think that's tailor-made journals. We will use that. Oh, I like those owls. Does it have a whole owl? in here. Yeah, it's not very big though. It's not either. I printed them tiny. I need to print them out bigger for this. I love barn owl faces. They're so cool. Put a little music behind it. ink around that. It's not working for me because it's not inked. Don't work. Just a little bit. Yeah, something like that.
see that's a fun little thing to like stick in a pocket a little bit different than just a tag and the nice thing with Tim Holtz paper is you just don't really have to do a lot because it's just you know it's already great so um, there's that let's see what else could we do I'm looking at my other pieces here these larger ones would be cool to do something with Trying to think, oh, you know what you could do with those, these ones. Sorry, I'm just thinking. This one would work the best, but I like this one better. <laughs> Oh, I know what I can do. That will work. Sorry, I just had to think for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one over here off. I'm just going to use three of them. Yeah, I need my... Sorry. need to score it. So we're going to score here. And we're going to squirt this line as well, just where they naturally would fold anyway. Or, you know, if you're using them like that. So that's going to be our cover. Oh, that's going to get covered up. Well, that's the breaks. i got to cut this one just a little bit smaller so that it's not in the fold. Like that. Because it's going to become a pocket. That's a bummer to cover that, but just the way it is. All right, so I need, where's my, oh, my goodness, it's right in front of my nose. So that'll be a pocket, and then you could put a paper or something there to write on and put a tag in there. We can use this as our tag. Not my favorite one. I would have rather had that one in there and this one as a tag, but that's the way it is. Okay. I'll do it at... I want a, a decent sized tag because um, It'll fit, so might as well use it. I know they're the same size, but I just want to make sure that it wasn't going to be weird. I might have to trim it a tiny bit on the bottom. But if it pokes out a little too, that's okay. Then you know it's, it's there. Trying to think. Oh, I'll leave that side. I like the bugs. They're fine. I just prefer other stuff. It's better. Melody's nice paper. Okay. 
And then we can put another piece over there, but let's get this inked and glued down so it'll dry. Kids are madly wrapping presents downstairs. <laughs> Well, I try, but sometimes I just cannot think of anything to get people. It's just... <sighs> some people are super easy, some not. I feel like... Yeah, that's, I don't mind that that sticks up a little bit. I think it's good because then you just know that it's there. Ink around that a little bit. And I think I want to decorate that a little bit. That in the front. Um, I colored this one a long time ago and I really should use it, but it's too with this green and like that colored. I should just color some more. I have my, um, what do you call them? My goodness, the alcohol ink markers now, so I can use those. <clears throat> need to do, I know I keep saying it, what Gail does and put them by size, but it just never happens. Oh, he's still kind of tall. I like that little guy. He's cute. like that one because it was a little bit bigger but uh, not too tall.
Yeah, I like that a little bit better. It just um, shows up more. I think I'm actually going to put that textured side out instead. him a little. I am going to use Art Glitter Glue on him just to make sure he stays down a little better since it's a little heavier chipboard. I ended up covering up that music note thing all the time. He's fine. I need a piece of something in here that we can write on. I can just kind of go like that, it'll be fine. wake the kids up this morning to go shopping and they're like why do we have to go so early I'm like because it's the week before Christmas well, not even the week it's you know the week of Christmas like you need to go and get it done before it gets any crazier out there because unfortunately they're kind of like I am they don't do great and large crowds of people I think our brains just exit <laughs> exit stage left or whatever you want to say bad. We just can't think when, you know, that's going on. So unfortunately, we're not good at that. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to wondering if he could sit on that three or if I have a ticket or something would work. See, <laughs> who knows if it'll work now? <laughs> I mean, to rip it that much, it'll work still. It'll just be kind of hanging on the edge there. I just didn't want all of that. Let's see, a stamp. down stamp. I love the orange. 
with the red, it needs to be something else. New York, New York. Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of brown happening in there. I need green. Olo, hi. Are you leaving? Yeah, we're going to lunch with that. Okay. There's kind of a Bailey's pros that hasn't been dropped yet, so it's kind of like a mess. Mess. We'll okay, well. Clean it up when you get back. Love you. Love you. Have fun. They're going to where she works <laughs> to eat lunch, and she's like, I did not want to go there, but that's where everybody else wanted to go. Because <laughs> she eats there all the time, and she has to eat there tonight, too, so she's like, I'm just not going to get food. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of the problem with working at a food place. And it's good, so all her friends want to go there. But she's had it, enough of it. I mean, it's awesome because it's part of her pay. She gets, you know, if she works a certain number of hours, she gets a meal, which that's awesome. So she takes advantage of that, but you get kind of like, ugh. Sorry if that's loud, that's our garage door. Like I said, I'm right over our garage, so unfortunately that's just kind of part of the, the dealio. Okay, so now we just gotta get all that glued down. Let's do the ticket and the stamp first. Tilt it kind of, not a lot of tilt. I think I wanted that more. Let me see. I kind of put that up higher than I think I wanted it. I think that'll work. And this needs to go this. My son loves to eat at the place my daughter works at, so he's excited to go, but she's not. I want to cover up the queen's face. <laughs> Fingers get so sticky, it drives me crazy. Okay, let's get that down nicely. And then we need to put something up there to hold that in place. Scissors. This star fabric. I don't know if this is going to look weird, but let's see what it looks like. Half the time, you know, by the time you put the little tabby on there, you hardly see it. So, unless it's like a big tag with a big piece of fabric, but when it's just little like this, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I like the color. Let me know if you guys are all ready for Christmas or if you're still scurrying around like I am. It's 
kind of crazy. All right, so there's that one. Just a f another fun little. Oh yeah, yeah. Why am? Why is he not wanting to stick at all? Stick down. Okay. And then that's like that. I think those are cute. I think that's fun. Something, something to do with those because they just sit there. They've been sitting in my stash for, I've had some of these papers for years. So that'll be much more useful like that, right? I just don't know what to do with them, but it's like just get them out and try to do something with them at least, right? Okay, so I was looking at the big one. I'm not sure because they are big is the problem. So, I like that little thing that I just made. <laughs> Do I have more of the little squares? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm thinking I could do something like that I just did with the little squares too. So like you have to figure out what the cover is and what every other part is. I could do one with this, but I just did that, didn't I? Wasn't that the one I used? Yeah. So let's use something different. Let's use that one. And I know that one that we've used, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna use it anyway. Cause only certain ones will work. You have to find a cover and then think about where it's gonna fold and all of that. This one would work too. Or no, that one won't work. Yeah, it would. Let's do that one. I would end up cutting these apart anyway, most likely, so it's not a big deal. I can just make more of those type things. Oops, a little bit short. I almost put this one away because I'm dingy like that. the problem. Okay, so I'm going to make that the cover. So it's basically going to be the same, but you could have it instead where this one folds. Oh, I could have done that, huh? Well, oh, it's too late now. So that's going to get covered up again, which is another cool one. Whereas, if I folded it, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking how I want to do this. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably ready to choke me. Oh, well, we're going to lose that one. And I didn't cut that very straight. Well, I think I cut it straight, but I think I didn't have it in the cutter very well. So this again is going to be our, to trim this so that it's not right in the fold. Just a sliver just so that it doesn't catch up with that. I'm notch this. So this is the same one I just did. I just wanted to do another one. Um, the big ones, I'm not sure yet what I want to do with those because they would be kind of big to put into a journal unless you cut them down. So 
These little ones are great for this. And then I can use a, another one of those, the leftover one, to make a... What do you call it? Tag. <laughs> oh goodness me. Glue. Just work. I can't see. Work for beans. That was some shaky hand time right there. Okay, so I'll use that as a tag. We need to trim off the top because I cut it crooked. Cut it again. This is going to be the sketchy part because the tail of that bird it's going to get chopped a little bit because I'm going to go two and a half. It's a, a fat, wide type pocket, so it's just going to fit. It's I just can't get it out because it's so wet. <laughs> Um, corn. Sorry, I don't have a whole lot to talk about, guys. I just, you know, <laughs> I think we're all suffering from like, what in the world do we talk about? <laughs> mm. Everything that you could talk about, nobody wants to hear, or, um, you know, we're not really, can't really talk about. So. Just exciting days. Uh, let's see, I need something to back that with. I'm going to use some of this manila. That will work. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing a ding it. That was some decent winging it. Sort of. Oh my. <laughs> when you can't pick the paper up off the board. It's bad. I'm getting a mess. I'm getting a disaster. Look at this. <laughs> but this is what happens when I just get going because I get tunnel vision on just what I'm doing and then I look around and my entire room is like destroyed. If I had put the pin back in this, I would probably have more luck with it, wouldn't I? Oh my gosh, can you guys see it? It's right in front of me, isn't it? Where? See, this is why messes don't work. Honestly. Oh, forget it. I guess it'll dry out. Did I like throw it on the floor or what? I probably threw it away. That seems to be what I do with stuff when I can't find it. Oh, it's not in my little garbage can. Oh, there it is. It's hiding behind the card. Yeah, see, it wouldn't have gone in there much longer. 
I've bent that pin like so many times. I need to, I need to find some uh, stainless steel ones. I just need to order some. Be the best thing to do. Okay, a piece of fabric. I don't know if I have anything to go with that. Maybe just some green. I don't know, this is not really the right color of green. Just trying to get it to a fray. I am enjoying using my tiny attacher to do this. Instead of sewing for a change. I just have to get it off to one side or the other. I don't really think I need anything else on that one. Not a whole lot on this either, on the front, honestly. Hmm. I might just leave that until I decide where it goes. Oh, let's put a little something in there though. This piece work. Just so I got a place to write. Yeah, I don't really know what else I would put on there that would fit. So I think it's fine just like it is. I think those are super fun and easy. I mean, you could do them with any paper. It doesn't have to be Tim Holtz. Because you can just, these are like three by three squares. And um, this one's, I don't know if I could find my ruler, it would help. So these ones are three by four, three by four for those. And I'm pretty sure these are three by three. Yeah, these are three by three. So three by four and three by three. That's all you need. And then this one is just two of the three by three squares glued at the top with a couple of tags in there. But obviously those could be made out of anything as well. So I think that's a video and um, I will chat at you guys again soon. I hope you have an awesome day and a very Merry Christmas. If I don't see you again, I'm going to try to do one more video. So I have three this week and one of them may come out... Um, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> but have a very Merry Christmas. I love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you so much for all your support and just everything this year. You guys just are amazing and welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. Hopefully we'll have an awesome new year together and yeah, an awesome new year for everybody, I hope. So blessings and love to all of you. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye now.